All right, well, Word Hunt wasn't really much to write home about, but hopefully next one will be. Yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but whatever. It's by a guy called Ivan6. Hey, I've tried to make a rule about Spanish tense verbs. Sounds boring, right? In this game, you'll face different famous Spanish writers while you try to learn how to write the different tenses. In your path of learning, you will get upgrades for make, to, um, for make everything more easy, but the challenge also goes up over time. Yes, maybe it's not the most enjoyable rule like, but I think that it's one of the best ways to learn Spanish tense verbs, and that was my objective. The lapse of time has been since uh, 4th of March to like 11th of March. I've uploaded it a little bit more late because I was trying to download the tools in Unity to play in browser, but I've already ended the game, I promise. So I guess like, you know, I was going to try and have a browser version, but it's not like up, whatever. And honestly, this guy's, you know, not English speaking, so... We'll see how this basically goes. Why is this not downloading? Oh, this is awkward. Do I have internet? I appear to have internet. Hmm. We'll try again. If it hangs at like 18, like, you know, megabytes again, there's an issue, I think. And of course, hit the wrong button. All right, there we go. Show them folder. We'll open up my WinRAR extractor file. Power ISO. Let's just see how it goes. Alright, so verbs tutorial. Welcome to my game. Hey there, this game is about Spanish verbs tenses. Sounds boring, right? Um, so yeah, basically recap of the first, like, you know, paragraph. Let me say that I had to try my best to do this the most joyful that I can. To move in the menu, you can use arrow keys to point to the options and enter to select it. Also, in some menus, like this, you might use escape to return to the principal menu. But wait a minute, you must learn to play. Use left arrow and start learning your first tense. Present simple is only tense that you need to learn to play the jam mode, so give it a try. It's not so hard. Alright, so use arrow keys. Uh, okay, so basically, like, you know, up there you can see like, the right um, goes right, left goes left. Press escape. This goes back here. All right. So, play tutorial, bestiary, verbs, album, or exit. Yep, that's all Greek to me. All right, well, navigation basically works, despite, like, you know, it being um, not English. But, you know, this not being English is probably, like, par for the course, because it's not supposed to be English. Alright, so, we got a little bit of tutorial here. All regular verb tenses have an infinite form with its own verbal ending that can be er, er, or er. 
To conjugate the verb, you must change the verbal ending depending on the pronoun and verb tense. In this tutorial, I'm going to remark that verbal ending of the infinitive, infinity form in blue and conjugations that they will um, be, be resulted in red. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be resulted, by the way, but whatever. I can't be sure, but anyways, the present simple is used to talk about an action that is happening in this pivot moment, and there's not a clear knowledge of when the action is started or end. It's equivalent to present simple in the English, I walk, yo ando. Example using caminar, walk. Yo camino, tu caminos, el camino, nostros caminos, vostros caminos. Yeah, I'm very great at pronunciation, can't you tell? Elos Kaminin. This is the only verb tenses that you need to know to play jam mode, so give it a try. This tense is part of a simple indi indicative tenses, so in normal mode there will be start appearing since the beginning. So basically there's like all like the tutorial plus stuff here. And it goes back to welcome to my game. Now, I'm not sure if like Spanish is basically similar to English, but I'll note that a lot of these like, you know, title pages for this game look very, very uh, similar. So I'll note that in English it's basically recommended that you always try and have like a different word for like each title, so you might have like say first page. And like you know, the second page might be like, you know, following page. There's something to break up the tedium so like, you know, everything's distinct and different sometimes. Like, I look at this as, like, you know, um, imperfecto, indefino. A little bit too similar. I don't know if that's just a problem like, with, this, with the language, but whatever. All right, let's just try and play this and see how it goes. So, did you guess? Play. Um, so, jam, normal, expert, or return. Let's go with easy. So, we have a timer at the top. We have HP and our stuff. What am I supposed to write here? Now, here's an issue, Bob. I can't go back if I like make a mistake. So if I basically like, you know, type out a little bit like this and make a mistake, I can't go back to like, you know, fix the mistake. Oh yes I can. Sort of. You just have to go back and forth, okay. So yeah, I'll note that I didn't really follow the instructions, so we're gonna die here, but it's fine. All right, so you have reached round one. So basically, it's like you know, sort of max out like what it basically is here. So, all right, we're just gonna use pen and paper here for a moment. So, learning fun. Yo, that gives you an O. Two. That gets you as an ass. We'll basically like see like how it basically like, plays out here a little bit. L. That gets you an A. Nostros. Gets you an Amos. Nostros gets you um. I guess it's an yeah. Um, I was gonna do over the the A there. I'm not, not very great. I'm not really great about you know French either, so I'm even more lost than that for sort of fine, but whatever. Alright, wrote down basically all the like you know stuff there. We'll see how this jam version basically works first and then like go from there. So we're against Radical C, playwright. So
Let's just try and get one right. Okay, we got one right, right there. Trompo. Trompaz. Trompa. Tromp. Amos. Well, I think I got some of that right. I know that the first seconds might be a little bit much for like, you know, somebody who's basically just jumping into this, by the way. I didn't take a spike damage that time. Yeah, I'm not really saying much, but I'm basically trying to focus on getting this, you know, as good as I can basically get it. So, that's something to note, by the way, because I, I can't actually enter, like, the, like, um, the special character for the A there. I'm sort of messing up on that one. Since it's not available on my keyboard. Issues there, I guess. Okay, so, now we're getting to something, I guess, different here a little bit, so... Oh, look, look at our time space has stopped at this point. Talking subjunctively. All subjunctive tenses are more probable and start appearing right now. Dead to a sense, all the assets are already written. Or forms. Every point one of damage that you receive makes 0.1 of a damage to the enemy. I have no idea what this do. I think this like change how like you know stuff basically comes, so Oh look at that, it's already in basically. And we died. Alright, so. We reached round 5 that time at least. Alright, so. um, It's an interesting game. Not really sure what we call it rule like. Because basically it's more like, you know. Um, more like. Uh, it's not, I wouldn't say quizzes are basically not rule like. But, you know. It's a learning game. 
it's edutainment basically and it's not really like set up the like you know sort of like a rolling type of game it's basically more you know quizzy so like a rapid fire quiz against like the computer um but whatever I'm sort of interested in like seeing how this basically got marked, so let's just type in yo and see if it gets to something over here. There we go. So at least two people reviewed this one. So basically someone gave it a 2.5 or like you know someone gave it a two for completed. So I couldn't type the like you know certain like you know things, so Basically, like, you know, there is so, no, yeah, you basically didn't have the option to complete typos. I agree with that. Yeah, that really should have been addressed a little bit. Um, aesthetics wise, I had to zoom to be able to read the lessons. Full screen didn't scale the font. Uh, I didn't really have that issue, so I guess that's just like, you know, well, one off for developer, uh, the reader you basically have right there. A typing game can be fun in itself, but the fact that I couldn't enter ascended letters and corrected letters is frustrating to me, so. I don't speak Spanish, and I'm basically learning a simple tense right now. The gameplay in general was uh, just repetitive enough that um, learning rules pretty quickly. The power of is nice, though I wish you could get HP back more often. So, yeah, I have to agree with, uh, you know, I agree more like to the second one up here. I don't think you need a one basically for fun, but, well, I can't really deny it. it was, it's a typing game. It's, you have fun it, or you don't have fun of it, so to speak. Fun is actually something I think that really, like, you know, misses the point for, like, this, like, game, because this is not a game about fun, but it's, it's a game about learning. I do think it's good about uh, helping you learn stuff. I think it could be, like, you know, more complete in that aspect, but, not, you know, not really, like, uh, an issue with fun. It's not supposed to be fun as a quiz. Uh, innovation. Yeah, I can't really say it's, like, all innovative. This actually has been done before, like, you know, in, like, the 90s, I think, of all things. So, this, like, sort of, um, is a very old style, like, you know, sort of format. Scope, yeah, it's fine for like a, you know, what we got here. But I agree like these guys, it's definitely not Rolex. There's only permadeath and choice of upgrade. That doesn't make it Rolex to me. And, well, I think it's more an issue, less about the permadeath and stuff like that. It's because of the fact that like, you know, this doesn't really fit like the genre of like the Rolex, I don't think. It's basically more like a, a word game type of thing. And... You know, I think you basically have, like, you know, crosswords and stuff like that. You wouldn't call, like, crosswords, like, you know, Rolex and stuff like that. If, like, just, if, like you know, they had like, some, like, you know, really, like, elements basically added to it. They'd just be, like, you know, super plus crossroads, um, crosswords and such. So, I don't but more of an arcade game and a Rolex. The person make enough decision um, to make each play for unique. Eh, I guess I have to say so. Alright, well, that's basically, you know... That right there. For uh, an edutainment like type of game, it wasn't bad, but not really sure it's one that like you know belongs here for sure. So similar to Word Hunt, basically, it's like you know a little bit too um, shallow, I think, for a, a seventy or L in terms of like realicness, but whatever. All right, well, I'll be moving on to like the one point five stuff next. Not as many of that here. And there's all this stuff over here. Yep, this will take a while to get through, but that's fine. 1.5, I'm coming for you next.